Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to look at a test, and we're going to see how the new uh, M2 MacBook Air does with some 8K video. So here we have uh, the MacBook Air M2, and this is the 16GB um, model with 1TB of storage. This MacBook Air seems to have no problem with this footage. Um, I did have some problems with the Mac Mini and with the MacBook Pro M2, but this one, it seems fine, and I'm also at the better quality, and it's having no problem at all uh, playing back this footage. It's not dropping any frames. It's actually doing really well. Okay, so this is some graded test footage, 8K uh, test footage from the Canon R5C, and this is, you know, most computers struggle with this footage, but we're going to go ahead and see how it does. Now, the uh, MacBook Air M2 seems to be working with this footage, no problem, and we're going to go ahead and do an export test and see how it does here. And let's see how fast it can export um, this 8K footage. So it did it in one minute and 38 seconds. And that's pretty good. Now, here's what we're going to compare it up against. On the right, you have the new MacBook Pro M2. And on the left, you have the M1 Mac Mini. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see how it works with this footage. It worked okay. Uh, I was kind of going back and forth. It works better when you do the um, better performance than the better quality, but it's definitely struggling here. Really odd because uh, these computers actually have the same processor, but there's something different going on internally between the two machines. But let's go ahead and see how long it takes to export this. Now, you're going to be very surprised because you would think this would be the same as the M2 Mac, uh, MacBook Air, but it's not. Um, it actually took 10 minutes uh, to export this. And I have tried this multiple times, make sure if it's not just some kind of a fluke. And no, on this computer, it actually took 10 minutes. So that actually is the worst of all. Okay, so this is the Mac Mini up next here on the big uh, Samsung screen. And as you can see, it plays it back. It's about the same as the, uh, I would say the MacBook Pro M2. The winner here playing back the footage is definitely the MacBook Air M2. It seems to be the smoothest, but this is of course the older M1 uh, Mac Mini, the current Mac Mini that you can get as of making this video. But we're gonna go ahead and do an export test. And you can certainly work with this footage, but let's see how fast it can go ahead and export it. And I think I can see here from what's happening, it's gonna stop a lot quicker. Okay, so this one did it in two minutes and 40 seconds. So significantly faster than the M2 MacBook Pro. Okay, so what do we get out of all this? Well, what we get out of all this is that the in my opinion, the M2 MacBook Air is a real winner. It really is, it's pretty cool. Now, I would say if you have an M1 Mac Mini or you have an M1 MacBook Air, I don't think you really need to upgrade to this new uh, MacBook Air M2. I think it would be a much better choice to get the 14 inch M1 Pro model. But if you're on a budget and you don't have an Apple computer, or you got an older Apple computer, I think out of one of these more basic models, the M2 MacBook Air, you can make that work for most of your, your uses. And as you see here, uh, I made it work really well with using 8K footage, which is putting a tremendous strain on the computer. And this is real world testing, not synthetic benchmark tests. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.